Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we're going to talk about what you need to set up a network for a small business, also called SMB network. In small business, we could have like a PC server, access point for Wi-Fi coverage, IP camera for surveillance, VoIP phone, and some IoT device. We can either use like the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable to connect some of these devices back to a switch, or we can use the fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable provides fast speed, low latency, and long distance run, but we cannot send the power through the fiber optic cable. First, let's just move to the whiteboard and see one of the typical cases. This is very typical case. There's totally four floors in the building. The control room is located in the first floor, and we have some server like the web server, FTP server, sitting in the control room. And we also have the top rock switch in the control room. In each of these floors, we will place the POE switch. The POE switch is working as the aggregated switch. The device like the IP camera, access point, VoIP phone, will be connected into this POE switch by using the KFIE or K6 Ethernet cable. Because we can send both power and data through the KFIE K6 Ethernet cable, so there's no need for power source being around with each of these devices. And in order to connect this POE switch to the top of rock mouse switch, we are using the fiber optic cable. So that can provide fast speed, low latency, and long distance run. We don't need to worry about distance between the aggregated switch to the smart central switch in the control room. All right, now let's just move to the workshop and see how we can make all the system working. Here we have got the whole system up. This switch is acting as a top rod switch. Here we got eight RJ45 network ports. The network video recorder is connecting to one of these ports. And we also have other server like the FTP server, REST server, which can be connected to the other RJ45 network port. Those are the SRP slot, which you can take in the fiber optic cable. We got one cable from outside, let's see where, where did it come from. From this cable, we have this, we trace to this congestion box, it's nothing else just for the cable management. This is the single mode fiber optic cable, and you see, we may see we are just using one code to connecting the switch from the other side. Why? Because we use the BIDI transceiver, which uses a different wavelength to transmit and receive the signal. Single fiber optical codes is enough to send and receive the data. From this box, we are using the pre-made fiber optic cable. Here, we don't have any fusion, so we don't need to make the connector in the field. It just plug and play. The connector has been made in both ends of this fiber optic cable, so we just need to plug and play that will be it. And let's move the other side. It's also the boss, the conjunction boss for cable management. From here, we have the, another short punch code to link the fiber optic cable to this POE switch. Now we can use this POE switch to power the edge device. This is the wireless access point from Netgear. It provides the Wi-Fi coverage, and this is the IP camera. We can see the live video on the monitor. There's no need for power source around this edge device because the POE allows us to send the power and data through a single internet cable. We just need one cable to connect to all these devices, it will be working. And the maximum distance between the POE switch to this edge device is about 300 feet. So it's more than enough for just for one floor. And you can see the whole system, we have mixed both k 5 e K6 Ethernet cable, also the fiber optic cable. We are taking the advantage of these two. Actually, we are using the L2 Plus manager switch both sides. There are more features we can explode, like the STP, VLAN, ERPS. One of the common features is called channel aggregative. This premium fiber optic cable has two codes, but we are just taking one of the codes because we are using BIDY transceiver. It can use a different wavelength. So it leaves us another code we can use. We can connect the spare code to the switch both sides, and we can put two channels together to upgrade the bandwidth to two gig. Now each port just have the one gig. When we put two together, we have two gig. Of course, we need to configure the switch to have the channel aggregated, otherwise you have the dead loot. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.